We are not the last. And are you willing to get the last? Hey! Four, three, two, one. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. I'm Ricky. I'm Christina. And about a month ago, we put out a help box in the Loop Show break room. All the people on the Loop Show were able to submit a question. Anonymous or otherwise. And we're just gonna try to help them out. Even though we're not licensed therapists or anything. We just wanna be of service. Ew. I think I broke my hand on a board. Should I go to a hospital or walk it off? P please, please go, please go to the hospital. Yeah, I mean, some people are like, you can duct tape it. That's not advisable. No, no. no. Go to the hospital. Please. Okay, asking for a friend. How do I ask for friends? <laughs> I love this. So you're asking for a friend, how do I ask for friends? So you ask for friends by knowing oh. what kind of friend you want, and then from yeah. there you have to see what people you naturally gravitate towards uh -huh. whenever you're in It starts with acquaintances and it moves on from That's there. That's right. All right, need help. Call the law offices of Henderson and Tate? I think that's just a, a, an advertisement. I keep jump scaring myself in the mirror when I brush my teeth. Should I get a ski mask? Another option you could do is like you can brush your teeth um, just by without looking in the mirror. Close you, your eyes. Yeah, just just brush your teeth in the dark. As you can see, we can all use a little help. Yeah, and serving is one of generosity's most powerful tools. Check this out. So you want the best, but are you willing to give the best? I know for me, I want the best of the best, whether it's technology and I want the newest video games, I want the newest watch, I want the newest AirPods, or maybe it's clothes. I work out at a gym and, and I really enjoy working out and I always want to have the nicest stuff. Like I want to truly get the best out of myself, but in order to do that, I have to have the best stuff, right? Maybe, maybe not. But anyways, I went out and got this really, really nice jump rope and it is pristine. I mean, it's made to my height. It's made basically specifically for me. But I was working out with this guy and uh, he's the same size as me, uh, same strength as me and we we're working out and uh, I was like, hey, do you wanna use my jump rope? And I allowed him to use it and he was blown away. He was like, man, that is the nicest jump rope I have ever used. And immediately in that moment, I felt prompted to give. Now, not, not give him my jump rope, but what would it be like if I gave him a jump rope that was made specifically for him, for his size, and for his strength? And so I thought about it and molded over, and honestly, for months, I didn't do anything about it. It kept on coming up, and I kept on ignoring it, ignoring it, and ignoring it, until I realized, you know what? If I want to have the best, if I want to be the best, I have to be willing to give the best or give my best. And so actually just recently I ordered him that jump rope and it's something that's very important to me, but it's also very important to Jesus. And this is what it says in Luke 6, 30 to 31. It says, give to everyone who asks you. And if anyone takes what belongs to you, don't ask to get it back. Do to others as you want them to do to you. Serving is one of generosity's most powerful tools, so we can be generous and it can be powerful, but we have to make the choice not to have the best, but to give the best. I want you to think about how you can give the best and be the best. Maybe it's for you, it's sending that text message to that friend. Maybe it's for you, it's sitting with that friend that's hurting. Maybe for you, you're feeling compelled to give the watch that you're wearing to the friend that says that they love that watch and wish they could have that watch. Whatever it is for you, I want you to think about a way that you can give the best, not just have the best. Let's do that together. I think we helped everyone on the show. Oh, we oh. forgot Mystery Hand. <laughs> How can we help? It says, can you recommend a good vacation spot? Oh, I highly recommend anywhere with a beach. Oh, and don't forget to wear sunscreen. Oh, yeah. Aww. Oh, I guess he's leaving. Bon voyage. Uh, Wait, wasn't he supposed to give us a challenge card? But I mean, he's on vacation now, so I guess we don't have a challenge for this episode. Enjoy, Enjoy the ride. ride! Oh wait, I have an idea. We need these. So on these cards are the most asked questions from search engines across the internet. With your math card in, we're gonna see how many questions you can get your partner to guess in a minute. You ready? Wow. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know what you're saying. Who? He is. is the richest. The richest. 
person hi, hi, hi. in the world. Is it? He's the richest person in the world? Huh. Her. Her heir. Her heir? Who heir. Who is the richest person in the world? Ah. <sighs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Who let the dogs out? Who took the dogs out? Who let the dogs out? Oh, who let the dogs out? Who? What time is it in California? Oh, what time is it in California? <laughs> oh. Okay, that's hard. Oh, <laughs> uh, what song is this? What song is this? <laughs> I got. Okay, how to lose weight. <laughs> how to lose weight. Oh, uh, how to lose weight fast. Yes. Uh, what to watch. What? To. To. Watch. Watch. What? <laughs> oh. What to watch. What, what, what to watch. Got yeah. it. <laughs> what is the temperature outside? What is the temperature outside? Which planet is closest to the sun? Which planet is closest to the sun? Yes. What time zone am I in? <laughs> What time zone am I in? Yeah. Okay, so I got Christine to guess three of the questions. And I got Ricky one, two. <laughs> it's not important. <laughs> What's next? Why, hello and welcome to the 33rd Annual Fist Bump Awards, where we're here celebrating our friends and all the ways that they serve. Who is this person that we're giving this award to? Miss Amber, all the way from California. California! Can we give Amber a call right now? Oh, yeah. Let's do it. Hello. All the way from California is my best friend, Amber. Hello. Hi, Amber. It's me, Brian, host of the 33rd Annual Fist Bump Awards. How are you? Wow. Hi, Brian. Hi, Ashley. <laughs> I'm good. Are you aware of the prestige of the award you're about to receive? I'm not. Well, this award is for exceptional service to our community. How do you feel about that? Oh, I feel honored. Now, Ashley, why did you pick Miss Amber? Miss Amber, I picked you because for all the years I've known you, you've always loved everybody around you so well, and I love serving in ministry with you. Fantastic. Now, would you like to hand her her fist bump award through the phone, please? Yes. Amber, your fist bump award is coming in hot. It's happening. Whoa, it happened. One last fist bump for the road. Welcome to the show. How are you feeling today? Hey, you know I'm excited, glad to be here. So you're gonna hand out the prestigious fist bump award to one of your friends. Who is that friend we're giving it to? It's gonna be my buddy Joe. Joe. What's up, bro? Hey, I wanted to call and you actually are receiving a fist bump award because you're amazing, you're awesome. And one thing that I love is just how you bring people in and let them come work out with you at your house. So you came and let me stay for vacation. So. Congratulations, you get a fist bump award. How do you feel right now? Honestly, I'm speechless. I didn't know an award was coming, um, but I will happily take the award. Three, two, one, boom. boom. Did you feel it? I felt it. Congratulations on your award. And Quentin, thanks for being a part of the show. Hello, Brian. Hello, Jess. <laughs> Who are you giving this award to? I am giving this award to one of my close friends, Gift. Gift is just the type of guy who will just drop anything and go help out his friends or his church. Let's do it. Hello. Hey, Gift. You are now at the 33rd Annual Fist Bump Awards. How does that make you feel? Pretty excited. Here it comes. Gift Fist Bump Award incoming. I heard it. I heard it. We heard it on this side. Thank you, Gift. Welcome to the What's show. Up? Hey, Doya. This is Chen, how are you? Today, you are receiving a fist bump award from my friend, Chen. Yep. Chen, can you tell him why yeah. he is getting this award? Yeah, Doyoung, like I have said that so many times that you are the reason why I can stand here and thrive. I just love your heart of a servant and also how God um, has placed you in my life. I'm grateful for you and just love you so much, bro. Oh, wow. That's amazing. Thank you so much for taking the time. And <laughs> yeah. this, I, I definitely feel blessed. We have to get this award to you, so yeah. ready to get that fist ready. Yes. Here it comes. Three, two, one. one. So how did that feel, giving your good friend his very first fist bump award? I think it's important for people who always 
give, to receive、mm. uh, gratitude, to receive love, and receive approval of their why they are doing that from people they have、uh, helped with. That、yeah. is fantastic. Can I give you one more fist、yeah. bump? Thank you so much for being a part of the 33rd annual Fist Bump Awards. And as always, keep serving. And maybe next year you can be on the 34th annual Fist Bump Awards. Go get 'em! All right. So for this round, the cards have solutions to the nine problems on the table, and we have to guess what answers go to what problem. Ah,、uh, they can be a healthy snack or occasional treat. They can be a healthy snack and occasional treat. Yes. Can dogs eat strawberries? Is that? Yay. Raw、uh, uh, and salsa. I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> Run in sun vegetable oil. Oh! Or How to get rid of a squeaky door? Something ara like Kenya curious nope. relaxation. Nope. Something ara ara ara. Okay. Something ara. Something oval. No ara <laughs> like Kenya. Chamomile. Oh! Yes. Can boost relaxation. What is a good bedtime tea? Yes. Yay! And through the host office at twelve weeks. Through the host、Look. office at twelve weeks. Faster. Through the host office at twelve weeks. Okay, that didn't help. I'm sorry. Oh. Yes. How long does it take to get a passport? Yay! Can I take it out now? It hurts. It hurts. It hurts. It hurts. Yeah, I can't see that. No way. It could too much dirt or bacteria. You might want to see a doctor. Why does my belly button stink? Yeah, it's an attempt to keep you alert and awake. I don't want that. Keep you alert and awake. Why do we yawn? Check under cot cushions and hide your head. Ah. Check under your couch. Oh,、cushion. where is my phone? The hand on your eyes that does the chat are the happiest that you've had. Gonna have to say that again, Ricky. The hand on your eyes. It's not the phone. The happiest that you've had. It sounded like you said lemonade. The hand on your eyes. Right. Nine to twelve hours. Well, how you say the chat? Ten to twelve hours, and I was like, ah. Nine to twelve. Well, yeah. No. Nine to twelve hours. What? Wow. Hey, Loop. Let's talk about generosity. How did Jesus give? The generosity that Jesus demonstrated wasn't transactional, and that means he gave without expecting anything in return. His teaching wasn't, if you scratch my back. I'll scratch yours. For example, oh, you need to charge your phone. I'll let you charge your phone with my phone charger. If he taught his followers to give unconditionally, no matter who asks for help, whether it be your friends, that's easier to give. Your neighbors, okay, and even your enemies. That kind of radical generosity can make a real difference in this world. People won't remember the stuff you had. They'll remember who you were. Showing people you love them is a great way to tell people about God's love. This is our verse for the week: Give to everyone who asks you, and if anyone takes what belongs to you, don't ask to get it back. Do to others as you want them to do to you. When it comes to serving, you have so much to give, no matter how old you are. Your smile can encourage someone. Your kind words can lift someone's spirits. You can fist bump someone you know that has conquered a fear. You can give someone a really nice pat on the back when you know that they did a really good job. You can offer to pick up trash in your neighborhood. You can stand up for someone who's been hurt. You can show a little bit of love to anyone. Let everyone bring out the best of your service. 
Oh, well, wow. Yeah. That was fun. That is an exercise. Oh, he's <laughs> back. I hope that your time was restful. Oh, oh my goodness. goodness. Thank you for the souvenirs. Yeah, <laughs> that was fun. Really... Oh, uh, uh, Mystery Hand, we, we, already did a, we already did a challenge. Yeah, Ricky came up with his own. Uh, oh, no. Oh. oh. I think we hurt Mystery Hand's feelings. I, I think I've got an idea how we can fix it. Okay. Let, let's just finish this though first. You have a lot to give. Let people bring out the best of your serving. You won't be remembered for the stuff you had. They'll remember you for who you are. So be generous to everyone. Until next time, enjoy, enjoy the ride. ride! Let's go find Mystery Hand and cheer him up. Yeah. You know where he lives? Yeah, so there is like a control room. Here, give me a second. Oh, yeah, hello. Like, like and, and subscribe. subscribe. And if you like this challenge, you will love it when we did it before at the Museum of the Bible. Ooh. We tried reading different Bible translations and it got very confusing. Oh my goodness, that would be very confusing. Did you have to say names? Oh, we had to Melchizedek. say names. Melchizedek. Oh yes. Belshazzar.